Hello and welcome to The Soundtest Room. My name is Jakob Hack, I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. This is Novation's launchpad. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to use the new in-app purchase giving you MIDI sync output. And to answer any questions on whether this can be done in reverse, then the answer is no. This is only a MIDI sync output, so you cannot slave launchpad to other apps, but you can, with this in-app purchase, slave other apps to Launchpad and stay in tempo, which is awesome. Now, I also got Arturia's Icebark open. I want to build a live set with looping, so I want to play the drums using Arturia's Icebark and then fill it in with some loops inside Novation's Launchpad. To sync it up, make sure you've launched the apps that you want, so every MIDI port is out there inside the MIDI cloud. Then go to the MIDI sync options, and if you can't do that, that means you haven't purchased the in-app purchase for the MIDI sync output, so you need to do that first. The next thing you do is to enable the timing clock. That means the MIDI clock is now running. If you look further down, you have the destination sources, and this is where you send the MIDI sync clock. <clears throat> if we look closely here, we can see that we have Icebox clock in, Icebox notes in, and network session one. We want to send the MIDI clock from Novation's launchpad to Icebox. So we just highlight that one, and this means we're now sending MIDI clock to Icebox. The next thing you do is going in to Icebox. If you look up here, you can see the MIDI options right there. It looks like a MIDI connector. And you can't see this unless you have the connect options open, and you can find them right there. Go into the MIDI options, and then if you look further down, you can see you have MIDI clock right here. If you press that, it's off right now, but here you can send or receive MIDI clock. We want to receive MIDI clock, and then it will give you a list of options. And we, of course, want to sync to the Launchpad sync source. We can clearly see that we have MIDI clock sync from Launchpad sync source. So let's go into Launchpad. If you look to the right here, you can see a play button and it says MIDI Sync over it. If I press that, then the drum loop pattern inside Arturia Spark will start playing. And hopefully it should be in tempo with everything in here. And it doesn't get simpler than this. If you decide to get the in-app purchase for Novation Launchpad so that you can send MIDI sync output to other apps, just go through this simple checklist. Enable the timing clock. Make sure you send the MIDI clock to the right destination. Next, you want to go to the receiving app. Go inside the MIDI option and make sure that it is receiving MIDI clock from Launchpad. As usual, Doug Woods, Colin Sweeney, and me, Jakob Hack, at the soundtestroom.com wishes you a very productive week. Now go finger your surfaces and have a lot of fun doing it.